was such a confident piece of work. It had such, because she, she trusted the reader of this story, you know, in ways that you don't always feel in films and TV being made today where most of the things we see, we feel like we're being told what to think and what to feel, mm -hmm. and she holds back and she gives you clues. And she describes these characters who, who keep shifting and, and the way you feel about them keeps shifting. And I just thought that just shows such respect, basically, for the audience. And, and, I, and, I, and I, those kinds of films are what excite me as a filmmaker and what I've tried to do in the past in different kinds of films. So it just was a, this had different challenges embedded in it and that was part of what excited me. But, but I just love that, that moral complexity that she, that she navigates. Yeah, there's, there's many elements that I took from Sammy's script, which was so rich and just a beautiful map to, for me, the exploration of this complex character in Joe. And I really just started with who this man was and the immense responsibility that was given to him at such a young age and how that really conditioned the kind of father he became, which was a loving father, a caring husband, a loving husband. And I really looked at the just this repressed feeling that Joe carried this 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 um, um, this arrested development that he that he repressed and how he kind of comes into terms with and acknowledges throughout this film and we're watching him in process as the audience process these things that are coming to light and just kind of cracking through the cocoon before he spreads his wings and flies in a way when he sees his kids graduate. You know, kind of that moment that of just release into the unknown is just very beautiful with Joe's story. And just, there was just so much, so many things and so many conversations that I had with Todd and just understanding Joe's experience that really helped just really informed the, the, just his journey. Well, their incredible um, power on the screen did not surprise me. Their intellect and the interpretation of these two very complicated characters did not surprise me. Uh, even though this is, was my first experience working with Natalie Portman, it, it very, she, how Natalie works very much reminded me of the way Julianne Moore works. But every day was a surprise in what they actually did in the DNA of a shot, you know. And these were shots that were often held for some time and allowed actors to really exist within the frame and interact. And so the subtle interactions between the two characters was something that uh, was a constant um, surprise and fascination. And, 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 and they would shift, you know, we didn't have a lot of time. We had 23 days to shoot this movie in Savannah, Georgia, so it was a very tight schedule. But whenever possible, we would just get sneak in one more take, and another take would just give you another slightly shaded version of what they had done with such nuance. This, this score was inspired by and drawn from, in part, an existing score uh, from a Joseph Losey film from 1971, The Go-Between, by Michelle. The score was written by Michelle Legrand. And I heard the score <clears throat> while I was putting together images for the movie and preparing for the movie, and I shared it with Marcello and said, Marcello, we got to do something like this, man. This is like, this sets the stage for the kind of questioning that I want this movie to have, you know? And Marcello loved this score was so impressed by the boldness of the score. And so it was ultimately a collaborative thing between this score and aspects of the score that we 
that we rearranged and in, incorporated into Marcello's original score for the film that he re-recorded and, and added so much of his own to and made his own. But, but it really was inspired, as I always like to, you know, to be, by films that feel relevant or films that surprise you and, and, and prick your memory and, and attention. And that was definitely true for this movie.